It wasn't supposed to end this way. I always imagined growing old with my husband, seeing my daughters grow up, having grandchildren, a good long life. I got that news that no one ever wants to get. I was diagnosed with stage three rectal cancer. I was in a really fearful place. I don't know if I've ever felt so afraid. I don't have much time left, but I've got a story and I need to share. I'm a writer of both songs and books, and this is a story of how Flying High came to be. It's about facing crisis, fulfilling dreams, and a man who taught me how. It began with Calvin telling the story of his life. It ended with changing mine. This is a project that I want to evolve and, and to help teach to raise consciousness amongst us. This is maybe the reason I'm here, I don't know. Flying High. It's the song of the birds. Music played by wings on the wind, soaring through the skies. For them, flying is as natural as breathing. For a lot of folks, flying high means freedom from the gravity of fear. A chance to explore life's possibilities. To look at clouds from the other side. But for some, like me, flying's a scary proposition. It's sad that a fear of heights keeps some of us from getting airborne, from reaching our dreams and our life's purpose. Then again, I guess we're not so much afraid of heights as we are falling. But in my dreams, I'm not afraid. I stand with the sun on my shoulders, spread my wings, and catch the breeze that lifts me toward the crystal heavens. To ascend toward our God-given gifts. Maybe it's why we're drawn to those who conquer new heights, to those who dare to rise above it all. We want to fly too, like my friend Calvin Lehew, a man with an unusually elevated perspective. Didn't take me long to learn he was a man who loved to fly in more ways than one. Somebody asked me, am I the owner? Uh, me and the bank own the place, yes. I said, Dr. Peel, as many speeches as you've given, do you still get butterflies in your stomach? He said, yes, I do, but the key is to get them to fly in formation. <laughs> and I thought that was so good. I saw Calvin as the kind of bird that could never be caged. And he taught me that the sky is not the limit. It's our playground, the place where dreams come true. A lot of folks thought of Calvin as a teacher. But if you asked him, he'd say he was a student. I suppose we all take turns at each at one time or another. For me, Calvin's been a teacher, and next to cancer, one of the best I ever had. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear.